Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we are making Hangjiao Niu Liu. Hangjiao means Hangzhou pepper. It's a type of mild green pepper. Niu Liu is beef tenderloin. That is why the English name is so straightforward, pepper steak. And I'm going to show you the authentic version. Let's get started. First, let's take care of the beef. As the name suggested, beef tenderloin is the ideal cut for this recipe. Slice the beef into a quarter of an inch thick slabs. Then slice each slab into a quarter of an inch wide strips. Beef tenderloin is pretty expensive. So if you want to go with cheaper cuts, that is okay too. You just need to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to the marinade to tenderize the meat. 280 grams of beef is enough to serve two people with some white rice. If you have a big family, you can double or triple the recipe. Marinate the beef with one tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of cornstarch, some black pepper to taste. When you coat the meat with starch, it increases the chance of food sticking to the wok. Therefore, we will add a drizzle of cooking oil to cover everything so it will stick less. Set that aside for 10 minutes. While waiting, we can prepare the peppers. Use a meat tenderizer to smash the peppers lightly. This way, it will allow the sodium and the beef flavor to infuse the into the peppers. Slice them with a 45 degree angle. It's actually hard to make authentic pepper steak because you can't get Hangzhou pepper in the USA. What I'm using is the Korean long hot pepper, which gives a similar taste. If you can't handle spicy food, it is okay to use bell pepper. Besides the chili pepper, you will also need two cloves of garlic. Slice them thinly. Half inch of ginger. Slice it thinly as well. Turn the heat to high and heat the wok until it is smoking hot. Add one to two tablespoons of cooking oil. Loosen up the beef strips before adding them to the wok so they don't tangle together. The wok is super hot. You only need to stir this for a minute or two. I know that doesn't sound like enough time to cook the meat through. That's okay because we will cook it furthermore. If the beef is fully cooked at this moment, it will be overcooked after we mix it with the peppers. Once all the beef changed the color, turn off the heat, take the beef out, be sure to tilt the wok so you can leave the oil in there. Turn the heat back on medium low, toss in the garlic, ginger, and peppers. We will stir this for a few minutes. Don't forget to add 3 quarter teaspoon of salt. Green peppers like that really need some salt to balance the spiciness and bring out the flavors. Once they become a bit soft, you can introduce the beef back into the wok. Add a few shakes of 5 spice powder or 13 spice powder. Turn the heat to high. Drizzle some Chinese cooking wine from the side of the wok. The steam is going to mingle all the flavors together. Keep stirring for a minute or two. You are done. This is a super easy but classic recipe. It takes about 15 minutes to cook. We normally serve it with white rice. The peppers are slightly crunchy and they absorb the flavor of the meat, which is surprisingly delicious. The beef is soft and tender, perfectly cooked. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment, let me know how it goes. As always, don't forget to check the description where you can find all the links, including the printable recipe, the related videos, the purchase link for special ingredients if you don't know where to buy them, or the tools that I have used in this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.